and him is normally a Crom main, oh, but shoot. except for Croc, he goes Roy. Oh, I didn't know this. I set up Crom the thing. So we are going to be seeing the Roy. He, he goes Roy against Croc. We're going to see the roots. I can see perhaps, um, let me update that. The recovery being a little tricky. This is not winner's set, man. It's loser's top eight. Yep. And being a little tricky for Roy, our K rule. And that's why. Damn! Oh my god. Look at that crazy conversion with the soft hit there into the fair. Doesn't matter um, what character he's played. He's going to edge guard this character. No, no that what. was crazy. I think, you know, when you have a character specialist dedicated to this, you're going to see some crazy shit. You're going to see some crown combos. <coughs> You're gonna see some cannonball shenanigans. Now hold on, we're hyping up Croc, but NM starting to bring this back. Oh, yeah, obviously, Roy, you're gonna be expected to see, especially with a character like K. Roy. And the belly armor coming in pretty important right there. You're gonna see those bread and butters, but the main thing is, how is he going to kill? He we almost saw the jab back air there. Gonna go ahead and whiff that. Um, I would say, pretty important um, to go ahead and try and. Go ahead and take oh, the stock right out of the nair. Definitely don't want to have K rule in a position like this. Already a heavy character. That back you're gonna go ahead and take, take it. it. Even stocks right now. Um, Down for up. Just gonna go up. ahead. And up. I gotta leave you five D. You got this, man. Okay. I'm roughing and toughing it in this commentary. Um, you guys have seen me commentate, but I got this. Okay. Um, Crocs like you're just gonna go ahead for that up smash. Bring it to two stocks to one here. Um, it's a pretty interesting matchup, I feel. Obviously volatile. You're gonna see Roy go for Roy stuff. Oh shit, oh wow. Um, Gleep, are you gonna see the F smash right there? Bring it to even stocks right now. Um, pretty much anyone's game. Let's see if NM could go ahead and clutch it out after being in a disadvantaged position for the majority of the game. Or if, N uh, if Croc is able to solidly take this. Um, Obviously, he just took 90% right now, but uh, K. Rool can definitely go ahead and take get this right now. Um, under side B, not gonna be able to, not gonna be able to uh, edge guard K. Rool, but uh, let's go ahead and see. Um, so the situation right now is, how is Roy gonna go ahead and clutch this out, and how is up? And how is uh, K. Rool gonna go ahead and try to find that opening to go ahead and kill? Um, Croc going ahead and bringing this even stocks pretty um, game pretty close right now. Really takes one hit from each of these players to go ahead and turn it. And then with the roll read and oh, with it initially, we're gonna go ahead and get that side B to take out game one. This is a best of three set, so whoever takes two games right now will win the set. Um, not too sure what stages are going to be banned and whatnot. We might see it run it back to PS2. Not too sure. Um, yeah. I'm gonna see them stick it out with the Roy, obviously granting him success in that game one. Um, let's see what stage he goes to. I'm afraid I didn't, wasn't able to catch it. Um, game two on small battlefield. I'm interested, not too sure about the differences that it will grant K, uh, Croc here in this matchup. But um, yeah, I think Adam's playing pretty solid. Obviously, we saw Croc sucker in that last game go ahead and essentially get a very dominant first stock. But just kind of Roy being a better character, able to solidly take it. Gonna get that weak hit of that F smash. Would have probably been the stock for uh, Croc there. Um, yeah. So, and I'm going ahead, pretty much taking the, uh, the lead right here. Obviously, K. Rool can go ahead and take this back. Kind of a dilemma right now, just for, he really needs one straight hit to take it right now. And obviously K. Rule's survivability will help him last longer than most. Not gonna see the crown confirmed there. Might could have been stock for K. Rule to clutch out that first one. Um, let's see, gonna go ahead and get that dash attack. Uh, and that's gonna be it. Uh, K Croc able to go ahead and survive and NM taking it right back, even stocks. Two to two.
as I said, I think this is this has the ability to be pretty volatile. Gonna see crown grab confirm. Gonna, we're gonna see the edge guard. Nope, not quite. Kind of Croc kind of has him in the uh, I'll call it the K rule vortex right now. But and then being able to even up percents. Um, hmm. I'm not gonna get that up smash right there. Ooh, that would have been crazy. Uh, hmm. Like I said, oh, hmm. gonna get the counter up there. Yep, and that's gonna be second stock. That that uh, cannon gonna be a pretty reliable kill right there. Just going ahead and covering the options that Roy has. And yeah. Let's see if Croc can take this solidly of NM being able to bring it back. Uh, oh, sh well, ooh, he almost had the fair there. That would have been crazy once again. Yep, okay. Um, NM being able to take the side B right there, bring it back. Uh, last hit right here. Um, let's see. Gonna go hit an armor with the up B. And that up smash gonna take it to game three. Uh, wow. Almost brought it back there. I think uh, at this level of play, with someone like Croc Saku, who's going to be a character specialist and whatnot, things like this are going to be pretty volatile. I think it's pretty exciting to see a lot of the setups he goes for. I haven't really seen anything like that prior to being in the SC scene and watching his play, playing versus him. So. Pretty cool stuff to witness. Obviously, you have Roy. I think NM is a little different from most Roy's I've played. Kind of a little passive, but we're gonna go ahead and see game three. See who's able to clutch it out here. Um, going back to PS2. Uh, pretty neutral playing grounds right here. I see both both of them kind of hesitating to start right there, but Croc up, not getting that confirmed right there, but gonna get some okay percent um i don't know i Hmm. Okay, and I'm with the stock lead right here. Sorry guys, a little distracted. But um yeah, I I really didn't see anything, so we're just gonna have to go in and catch it from now. Obviously K Rule can go ahead and ooh, not gonna get that confirmed right there. Let's see if NM can go ahead and solidify the lead. Um nope, that back throw's gonna take it. Um Like I said, I think honestly up oh, is that gonna be it? Nope. Hmm. I, I don't know. I'm I'm trying to make it okay. Let me shut up. Uh sorry guy. I'm freezing. Anyways, two stocks to one here for NM. Has a pretty solid lead. Um obviously I do think this is doable for K Wu. Let's see if he's a go ahead and able to solidify it to take the set. I'm gonna go ahead and get those Roy bread and butters. Can he take it to uh percentage things um that back though right there no jump on the Roy um not gonna be able to catch it right there uh ooh wait if he got back from that being crazy um yeah we're really just gonna have to see how NM is kind of trying to able to bring to close things and not give Croc Sucker the ability to bring it back right now Go, went for the side B on the thing um, I think, uh, yeah, that, is that going to be it? Yep. Oh, ill-advised dash attack, but NM going to be able to solidly, solidly take game three there and clutch it out versus Croc's 